Have you made choices that have damaged relationships or caused harm to people that you care about? I have. But what's more important is that I took the time to make amends. What is making amends? Continue watching to find out. Most people think that making amends is apologizing. And while apologizing is a part of making amends, in and of itself, it is not making amends. I first learned the word amends when I was a child, watching my dad in his garden. I watched him turn a desert landscape into a beautiful botanical garden. And he'd be out there with his shovel, digging in the dirt for hours. And the dirt is just rocky and stiff. And I'd ask him what he was doing and he'd say, well, I'm amending the soil. And what does it mean to amend the soil? And he said, well, I take this dirt and I'm gonna add positive things into the dirt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some potting soil and some fertilizer and I'm gonna dig it into the dirt. And once I've done that, then the soil will be more rich. But the interesting thing is, is I watched him do this in like desert rocks. And so he'd be out there digging with his shovel and like literally, he dug so many rocks out that his shovel was, was missing its tip. He would have to dig in and he'd maybe even get one inch into the dirt and there'd be this, this huge rock. And he'd have to pull that rock out and then move it and then keep digging another inch in, he'd get another big rock. And it would, the process would take quite a bit of time as he removed these big rocks from the soil. And then he would add the, the really good rich soil into the soil he already had. And just watching that process over and over again, when I later on had to make amends in my life, I understood what I needed to do. As a kid, I can't say that I was the nicest brother all the time. I have a younger sister. She's four years younger than me. And I was pretty rude to her. I made fun of her, ridiculed her. I argued with her all the time. What I didn't understand in the moment is the damage that I was doing. You see, I made her feel really insecure. Uh, she worried about the way she looked. She worried about her confidence with boys. And, and a lot of that was my fault. As I grew older and as I matured, I started to see that. And I started to feel really bad for the impact that I had had. And that's an important part of amends is actually noticing the harm that's done and actually feeling remorse for it. And I can tell you, I apologized many times to my sister for those things. But the truth is, is that still wasn't making amends. While it may have felt nice for her to have me acknowledge those things and to apologize, it still wasn't making amends. You see, just like the soil, I had added all sorts of negative things into her soil. And in order for me to make amends, I needed to go into the harm that I had done and fix it. I had to go in and find those big rocks. And that was noticing that I was making fun of her, saying rude comments to her often, pestering her. And I had to take those rocks out or I had to stop doing those things. But if I just took those rocks out and that's all I did, again, I haven't made amends. That soil has not been amended. It isn't rich for planting new life. And so in recognizing the harm that I had done, the insecurity that was in her life because of me, I started adding positive in. I started complimenting her. I did all sorts of nice things for her, serving her in any way that I could. So when she was ready to move out and go to college, she, she was pretty insecure. She was kind of a homebody and she's an epileptic and so was also very nervous about being away from home. And as I was trying to decide where I was going to live and um, finish my college degree, I realized she needed an older brother there to help her. 
And so I moved to where she went to college. Her roommates would call me when she would have a seizure and I would go over and help her out, hold her hair back while she was throwing up, help her through her relationship challenges, being positive and encouraging her, and even helping her through some of the relationships that were great. Because I have healed not only the relationship, but I worked to heal her, to fix the harm that I had done. That is the process of making amends. If you have harmed someone, figure out what the harm actually was. Did you hurt them? What impact did that have in their life? And find out, are there ways that you can make that better? Because when you do that, it not only heals them, but it heals you. It makes you into a better person and more capable of healing others in your life. So if you want to make amends, start digging and add the positive materials into their life.